What is up my fellow net dwellers, Couch Command here, the teddy bear that teaches you how to mod different games. Today we're looking at how to mod Dark Souls 3 in 2022. Things have changed a little bit since the old days and it's a little easier, a little faster. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, to actually show that this works, I'm doing a brand new fresh install of the game. Which means this is going to be a speed up section because 24 gigabytes is wild. Quite a while, actually. And let's go ahead and actually put it in a new location that I've never used before. Normally I have to put it over my D, we're gonna go C just to make life easy. And enjoy the waiting music. Now that that's done installing, let's go ahead and validate that it's brand new and clean. Let's go ahead and go browse local files, games. Nothing in here is modded. These are all the normal zero data files. Everything is vanilla. Now, as far as how we're going to be modding this, we're going to be using the new Mod Engine 2 by Souls Mod. This is the guy who brought you Mod Engine the original, and this is a new version of it that is way better at loading multiple mods. This is also the one I recommend for using for Elden Ring or, well, I mean, the sport's a little limited right now. I think it's just Dark Souls and Elden Ring are basically, Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring are the only ones currently supported. Once you get to the Gitch page, which I'll add to the description down below, you go ahead and click over on the release section and you can snag the different releases from this. Just go into assets and right here where it says mod engine preview, that's the one you're gonna wanna download. Now, as far as mods go, I'm going to be using the Devil May Cry mod by Shingu Project Replay. Just because it's a really cool mod and it's very easy to detect if it worked. If it worked, it gives you a new character class off the start. Everybody knows how to download off Nexus, so I'm not going to go out there giving you guys a tutorial on that one. So, what you're going to do, come into your downloads. Here's the mod engine. You're just going to extract this and drag it to your desktop or wherever you want it. I've already got mine here from when I was modding Elden Ring. You'll notice in here are all the things I was using for the video on the different Berserker mods available for Elden Ring. And we're going to be using that same, exact same spot for modding this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Devil May Cry 3 folder. We're going to go ahead and open it with our 7-zip. We're going to click on just this one here and we're going to click to extract. We're going to copy the path from wherever you decide to put your mod engine 3 and we're going to paste it in here. Click OK. Now there should be a new underscore DMC folder here, right? DMC mod. So I'm going to rename this just because I don't like the underscore to just DMC mod. I'm going to copy this path here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go into the Tomal here. And you're going to paste DMC mod over here on this one. So you'll notice mods. This is where you'd list them all. If you do a second mod, make sure you put a comma here and then go ahead and just add your line down below. Make sure whatever line you're ending with does not have a comma. So DMC, Devil May Cry, enabled is true. I've also got mine set to load loose params just to be safe. Once you're done, save it. And then to launch it, all you're going to do is do this launch Dark Souls bat here. If you actually have this installed to the same exact locations your Dark Souls game, you can use this Mod Engine 2 launcher. I like having a generic location because I launched both my mods for Elden Ring as well as for Dark Souls from here. Here's our Dark Souls game, and if this worked, I should be able to do a new game. We're going to just skip through all this and let me switch to this real quick. And we should have a new class here that is the Devil Hunter class, which is Dante. And you can also have his actions and animations. So we went from a vanilla game to modded game, couple of seconds. And Mod Engine 2 is so powerful doing multi-mods. I know everybody has the issue of, well, how do I chain together these different mods when I don't have a different D input or any of this? This is how. This is, you add a folder, you drop the contents. As long as the contents is in the correct order, for replacing the stuff as far as the data goes, it just works. Anyway, so that's how you guys bought Dark Souls 3 in 2022. 
I hope this helped you out. This was Couch Band. You guys all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.